Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have completed our previous course, the DOM events. So the entire JavaScript DOM we have learned it. So if you have if you have followed that course, so you have advanced the career in the DOM thing. So now you will be feeling pretty much comfortable when you are playing with the DOM in the JavaScript. I hope that I have covered all the major concepts in the DOM. So how we can manipulate the DOM, how we can traverse the DOM. Those are all the things we have covered pretty much well. And also we have did at the final a small shopping cart list using the JavaScript. So now it's time for us to jump to the another concept, which is very much important in the JavaScript that is Ajax. So before starting about this Ajax, we'll also cover something Ajax about the complete uh, concepts regarding the Ajax and all those things. We'll try to complete this one in the course. So try to follow this Ajax course also. It will be very much uh, useful for you in the front end development career in order to learn more the deeper concepts into this one. So normally all of the people know about the Ajax and all those things. But if you want to get pretty much comfortable with this, with the, with this Ajax also. So rather uh, uh, like just like that DOM. So try to follow this course also. So I will try to complete it very much uh, fast this one also. So now let's try to start uh, start with the Ajax thing. So before learning about this Ajax, first we need to know about the history of the Ajax. So how the Ajax came and all those things. So this is the major introduction of this Ajax. It is very useful to know the history of the Ajax because, uh, but I will not spend too much time in the history of Ajax. Why? Because Ajax and all those things history it is a boring. Why? Because so there is no need for us to learn uh, to know about the history of the Ajax. So first we need to know. The implementation of the ajax all the people most developers will be thinking but it is it is pretty much useful for us right so to know the history of the ajax how the ajax came and how we are right now we are using this ajax in the applications like angular react and all those things we are using it right so how this came place in the as a part in our front end development uh, role so we need to know so we need to know a little bit history i will not tell too much about the history just we'll go through a glimpse Ajax all began in the 1990s. So you need to understand that Ajax began in the 1990s. Microsoft was the dominant player. Yeah, it's all began in the 1990s. So the concept of Ajax began in the 1990s. How it was began? So let's try to know it. In 90s, normally the Microsoft was the dominant player in the World Wide Web. In the web world, the Microsoft was the dominant player in the late 90s. So here, if you try to see with the introduction of this Internet Explorer 3 in the 1990s, Internet Explorer 3 was introduced. Microsoft used the implementation of this JVM. So JVM means Java Virtual Machine. So Microsoft Internet Explorer 3, the Microsoft used the implementation of this Java Virtual Machine in 1990s. JVM means Java Virtual Machine, which is an environment that Java bytecode can be executed. So, uh, so this is not a concept, relevant concept. Just I want to explain you. So this JVM. Microsoft uses the implementation of JVM <coughs> in their own operating system. So in their own operating system, like Windows operating system. So in the 1990s, so they have used this one all, uh, what I can say, the implementation of Java Virtual Machine. But Java is uh, not the product for the of the Microsoft right so then Sun Microsystem which is the creator of the Java they have filed a case in the lawsuit on the Microsoft why because they are using the Java in their own operating system and Microsoft has conceded that they, they will remove the Java virtual machine from their operating system so face by face they will remove remove it off they have conceded in the lawsuit so the lawsuit is settled in the 2001 so these all went on went on went on 1990s to so 2001 it went on uh, i didn't remember exact year so by microsoft having to pay 20 million dollars to the micro sun microsystem so the microsoft has paid 20 million dollars to the sun microsystem and also they have agreed so to slowly they will phase out the java virtual machine in their products that is the reason if you remember in 2001 when windows xp was uh, introduced so we need to install java virtual machine separately so the Java virtual machine was not introduced by default in the Windows XP. Before that one, Java virtual machine was there in that one by default in the Windows operating system. But when the Windows, uh, what I can say, this XP came so after the XP. So Java virtual machine is not installed by default. So we need to install it separately. It's an operating system dependent. We need to install the appropriate uh, 
uh, so executable file in the windows so th that is the that is the story actually long back story what has happened so microsoft by this time has incorporated many of the java components into the different types of software so by this time and by the 2001 and all those things uh, microsoft has used this java virtual machine uh, this java thing the java software in different types of software so what are the softwares they have introduced right they have they have used this in the microsoft one of the biggest web app they have used their, that relied on the java component was outlook so the outlook is the biggest app web app they have microsoft they relied on the java components in order to get rid of this java in outlook microsoft has to replace this java components with something else so they need to get rid of this java in the outlook so microsoft has to replace this java components with something else and that something else is nothing but it is a javascript for new function they have wrote it for in order to overcome this uh, remove this uh, java uh, java component in the outlook so they have written a new function in the javascript that is nothing but for the browser that is nothing but the called activex object why because uh, internet explorer is the dominant at the time so they have written a new function in the javascript that is nothing but an activex object so this was the beginning of the ajax so this was the root for the ajax thing activex object is the new function in the javascript they have written in order to make a calls for the in the browser this activex object took over nine years to develop into a something called modern ajax so it took around nine years so to develop slowly it's it got developed developed and slowly took about nine years to develop into something called modern ajax and activex objects was really am amazing that it allowed the browser to make an http request so this is activex object at the time it was really amazing why because it may allow it allows the browser to make an http request so by this activex object so they will be they they are able to know so not there so all the people able to know that we can get the data refresh the data in the web without page reload so that is the main concept for the activex object so this activex object is solely for the microsoft they have developed it microsoft in order to overcome the java in their web apps so they slowly need to phase out these all the web apps and all those things uh, act, the java usage of java in their products so they have they have created a new function in the javascript that is nothing but an activex object so this is a long history so i don't want to go more into details into this one so this is an overall like, quite brief overview about this ajax thing so how this introduction of the ajax has came so how the microsoft uh, what i can say is uh, necessary to build in uh, to develop a new one activex object so what made them to develop a new one new one so this is the long story so because of the java java thing so we have also replacements for the ajax and all those things so i don't want to go further into that one something like web sockets right now so the ajax replacements are web sockets java applets these all the things are there actually so but ajax is an awesome thing so which we are using mostly uh, in our in all our web applications so this is what i can explain you hope you understood about the history of the ajax if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you